of Milo of Croton, legend says he lifted a calf over his head every day, starting with the day the calf was born. By the time the calf was full grown, Milo could lift and carry an adult bull. Makes sense, right? Okay, no, we're all engineers here, and we know that there would come a day when old Milo would saunter out of the barn, try to lift that calf, and, uh, no dice. And good thing calves don't grow according to Moore's Law, because, whoa, (laughs) Milo's plan would fail pretty quickly. Can you imagine if we tried to use the FPGA synthesis tools from even a couple years ago on today's designs? It'd be like trying to lift a full-grown bull on day two. The size, complexity, and speed of the latest FPGAs would crush our puny little tools. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In FPGA design, we have to keep moving forward at a crazy pace just to keep up with the rapid evolution of technology. My guest today is Joe Mallet of Synopsis, and we're going to talk about high-performance FPGA synthesis with the latest versions of Synopsis's Simplify Tools. Look out, Mr. Bull. We're coming for you. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more about high-performance FPGA synthesis with Synopsis's Simplify Tools. Hi, Joe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, thank you for having me. So Synopsys has been in the FPGA business for a really long time. Can you give us a quick overview of the solutions in this space? Yes, absolutely. So Synopsys has multiple products that actually fit within the FPGA solution space for implementation of FPGA-based designs. Okay. They range from DSP products to debug products to synthesis products. And Symphony Model Compiler, for example, is the DSP product. It allows for designs that are very heavy DSP-based. And Simplify FPGA Synthesis Tools provide the synthesis technology for being able to generate FPGA designs. And Identify RTL Debugger provides the debug solutions for being able to do deep trace inside of a FPGA. Cool. So, Joe, today's FPGAs are getting larger and larger, heck, 2x for each node for the last 20 years or so. So what do you think are some of the major challenges we're seeing today in FPGA designs, particularly in how they relate to synthesis? So you would run into multiple challenges if you were doing your FPGA designs. Yeah. Some of those are higher design complexities. Mm Mm-hmm. And from a design complexity perspective, you know, the sizes of the designs are getting larger. The number of IP blocks that are coming in are getting higher. And customers have shortened design schedules. So it's really becoming a big challenge for them to be able to achieve their schedules with these really complex designs. And in addition to that, they're trying to get the best performance and the smallest area in their FPGAs. And so being able to get the highest quality of results in both area and performance is a very big challenge for them because it directly affects some of the cost of the system and the and the capabilities of the system. Sure. And then when you look at the faster schedules, like I touched on, being able to debug and get to a working system very quickly is a big challenge for customers to be able to get their design up and running quickly. Sure. The last challenge that causes you a problem is the larger devices the run times start getting very large and being able to address these is a big deal. Okay, so one of the things that I found the most useful about having a third-party tool is having one tool that can support all the different vendors my team is using so we don't have to learn a whole bunch of different tools. Yeah, so Simplify actually helps address that because we support all the different vendors out there for the FPGA devices and you as a designer, when you start working on your design, Mm -hmm. you have the ability to be able to target any of the designs that you've done in the past or current designs to any of the FPGA technologies. So that gives you your IP portability across the design. You don't have to keep re-implementing the IP that you may have already purchased or or have used in a previous design, you can pull that forward. You can be able to address some of the long lifespans that are necessary for some of the products, especially in uh, industrial, which may last 10, 15 years. Right, yeah. And so being able to target all of the FPGA technology at the performance level and at the size that you need it to be in a single tool brings a lot of value to you as a designer. 
Absolutely. So out of everything we've talked about, what are the areas we should be looking at for getting working hardware quickly? Well, there's really four of them. Okay. And so when we look at it, it's being able to get the design set up quickly and be able to debug it, ultimately get to hardware quickly. Yeah. And the next one is is that the FPGA teams are becoming more and more distributed. Mm -hmm. So being able to work with hierarchical or team design helps substantially. The third one is with large and complex designs, incremental block-based design really becomes important. And then the fourth one is accelerating the run times and really distributing these designs and the compiles out into multiple machines. Okay, so you mentioned single-pass design setup. Give me some examples on what exactly you mean by that. Simplify provides you a series of tools to be able to go through and get your initial project set up correctly, set up the constraints, the clocks, all the pieces, and identify any setup errors and fix them quickly. Cool, okay. Then once you have the setups completed, you can go through and set up your constraints and your clocks appropriately for the design that you're specifically working on. Okay. Once you have all those pieces in place, then you can set up a specific environment for you to be able to analyze your design, mm -hmm. the specific design that you're working on, and be able to understand you know, any of the errors or requirements that you need to hit. Okay, so you mentioned single pass design setup. Give me some details on what exactly you mean by that. When you look at the capabilities within Simplify that is available to you for being able to complete those tasks, they're fairly extensive and allow you to get through those stages very quickly. Nice. So one place projects can get really hung up, especially in today's really complex designs, is debug. We're long past the days of dumping a bitstream and hoping it works, right? <laughs> How do we address the debug challenge? Yeah, debug is actually becoming a more significant problem because the design complexity is increasing substantially. Yeah. You've got IP coming in from many different stages and right. many different companies. And when you put it all together, being able to trace and figure out what is really causing the problem is a bit of a challenge. Yeah. And you're right. We can't just push the bitstream to the board and, and hope it goes well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there is actually a growing need for being able to do faster debug as well as gain much higher visibility within the FPGA. Right. And we have a set of tools, Identify RTL Debugger, which works directly with Simplify and allows you to be able to see all of the values inside the FPGA and map them directly into the RTL. Cool, okay. This allows you to have a simulator-like environment directly from the FPGA. So it seems like these days everybody has a design team in just about every time zone, spread out all over the world. How does this address that issue? Simplify Synthesis Tools provides the capability to be able to do hierarchical design as well as team-based design. Okay. And so by splitting the design up into individual modules and being able to enable team-based design, you can have people in different locations, different parts of the world that actually work on the same design, and they don't directly impact each other and can actually work together as a team nice. on some of these distributed capabilities. When you look at, for example, improving your existing designs, you can go through and create the partitions so that you can have one team member working on a design and he has a dedicated portion of the design that he's working on that doesn't interact directly with the next designer. So oh. they can do their work independently and accelerate their design schedules because they're not stomping on each other in terms of right. working in the same portions of the design. So yeah. in addition to that, you also have the ability to get to much quicker diagnosis in your design because you can, for example, if you have a problem in a specific portion of the design, you can isolate that. You can iterate on those pieces and, and quickly find the bug yeah. uh, that may be causing the problem. Nice. So one of the problems with really big designs in general and team designs in particular has always been having to run the entire completed design all at once. Now, you have a solution now that allows us to do incremental design. Is that right? There's two things coupled together in this solution. One of them is the compile points, and the other one is the multiprocessing capabilities. Okay. So with a single license within Simplify, you can run multiple processors, up to four processors, on a single design. In addition to that, you can partition the design using compile points so that you can create individual modules. Ah. So you may want to break the design into several different partitions. Mm -hmm. What that allows you to do is be able to go through your initial compile very quickly because you're running multiprocessing on it. Mm. 
But at the same time, when you go back and do your iterative runs, Mm -hmm. and you may not have changed all the partitions, you're only changing one or two of the partitions. And, you know, because you may be doing nightly builds and the designers have only checked in a piece of the ultimate design that they're going to deliver. So then because you're not recompiling every partition, then you are ultimately getting a much faster incremental runtime acceleration. Gotcha. Another thing a lot of us want to do is take advantage of running jobs in parallel across a number of machines. But synthesis has always been a bit of a one machine deal, right, Joe? Yes, it has. In the past, FPGA designs have been fairly small and much less complex than they are today. Yeah. And so the FPGA devices with the size and the complexity that they're getting, it's becoming more of a requirement to be able to apply multiple machines and multiple processors to the design compile Mm -hmm. to accelerate that runtime. Yeah. And so Simplify integrates a technology that allows people to be able to distribute those design and compiles across multiple machines and really take advantage of the compute power that's in a lot of the server farms that we have today. Nice. And so that provides them a much faster runtime advantage, as well as reducing the overall memory footprint. Because if you're able to split up the design into different machines, you don't hit that memory ceiling anymore. Right. And the third thing is, is it allows for more iterations per day, which Mm -hmm. ultimately is what we're trying to get to because we're trying to debug it as quickly as we can and get to market as quickly as we can. Right. Within Simplify, we've designed a capability that allows for the distribution of these processing capabilities. And so we've taken what traditionally had been the synthesis process flow of being able to compile and map the technology. We've split it out into every stage of the synthesis flow Mm. so that now the design can be split up in every stage, separated out, and each little iterative piece can be distributed across multiple machines or just across multiple processors, depending on what your needs are. Cool. Okay. We utilize many of the standard network protocols to be able to distribute that processing, which ultimately allows for you to scale to very large designs. So how much can I expect to scale with this? In general, you could expect up to a 3x improvement in your runtime acceleration. So something that may have taken you nine hours in the past would only take you three. So you could get through a couple of iterations in a single day. All right, Joe, can you break down the main points for me, if you wouldn't mind? Yeah, so when we look at what is the overall runtime acceleration that customers have for utilizing several technologies, we talked about using a single machine. And in the past, you could use a single machine with the compile points technology, which would get you a certain level of runtime. In this particular case, let's say it's nine hours. Yeah. When you then bring to the table the ability to network out into multiple machines and utilize other processors, you can see your 3x runtime improvement, which gives you your overall iterations per day mm-hmm. much higher. And with, through a distributed synthesis, you can see that 3x runtime improvement as well as the memory footprint reduction because you don't have to load the entire large design onto a single machine. Right. You've distributed it across a couple of different machines, so you don't run out of the system memory that needed mm-hmm. to get through your compiles. Yeah. The good news is, is with the faster time through the design compiles, you as a designer, you can do more with your system and, and accelerate your schedule even more. Okay, well... I think I might need a little more coffee, but Joe, uh, recap your presentation if you wouldn't mind. Sure. So what I've been talking about is several technologies, when they are all brought together, enable you for today's FPGA designs, which is really large, complex designs, being able to set them up quickly, being able to debug them quickly. Mm -hmm. And then with distributed teams, being able to support people in different regions, and having designs that can be worked on separately from different team members at different times. Yeah. And with that hierarchical and team design methodology, you can bring to the table the incremental block design, which allows for runtime acceleration through the initial design compile as well as through iterative designs. Mm, Okay. And then when you add the distributed synthesis and coupled with multiprocessing to the mix, then you have a 3x improvement on top of that, which reduces the overall runtime that you see in your designs. And what all that adds up to is a automated runtime acceleration capabilities within Simplify that helps you get through your schedules and get to market quicker. And everybody likes that. Well, Joe, I think that's all I have time for today. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, you're welcome. (laughs) Thanks for having me. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. 
There you can find out more information about high-performance FPGA synthesis with the latest versions of Synopsys Simplify Tools. For Chalk Talk, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to YouTube, keyword EE Journal, or check out the on-demand section of eejournal.com.